Hi, I'm Brad with Double D Trailers. Thanks for sharing your time with us. So we're at a show today uh, showcasing the new patented SafeTac Reverse. We recently awarded a patent on this design. And what that means is your horses can stand combination forward or rear facing. So let's jump right in. I'm really excited about this trailer. If you'd like to read up on the patent, uh, you could just go to type in Google 9132762, that patent number. Uh, I love this rear ramp. Uh, it's very easy to, to, to maneuver and handle. You don't have to worry about it banging down hard on the ground once you drop it. Now, this particular trailer, uh, because of the forward and rear facing design, has a, a side ramp and it's very uh, uniquely positioned. And we'll get more into that in just a moment as to the reasons why. I'm going to open this door up and latch it in the open position. Now, most rear tacks are in the way, for lack of a better term, we're asking our horses to load through this narrow compartment. So the safe tack really solves the issues associ associated with a conventional rear tack. You can open that up. You'll notice that the entire back of the trailer is open and available for loading and unloading. There's four positions on the, uh, on the saddle rack itself. Now these racks you could lift in and out so uh, if you'd like two saddle racks and one blanket bar or you know, reposition those, you certainly can. It's very easy to do. We've got a nice set of bridle hangers, uh, a light inside of here. And of course you can lock your saddle compartment up and uh, keep everything nice and dry, free of dust and debris while traveling. Throw some hoof picks and brushes in the bottom. So I love the safe tack compartment. Now, if your horses were loaded, uh, and you wanted to unload those guys. Now, I went ahead and made this particular trailer a full 90 wide, so that's why you see a partial amount of the fender on the inside. A lot of the uh, breeds that we're dealing with today are 16.3, 17, 17 uh, plus hand horse, and so we want to make sure those guys have enough nose to butt length as they're standing in the stall. So the additional width will certainly allow that. We also added some width in the stall for, uh, for more side to side. So if you were unloading in a rear facing design, your horses would already be unloaded. You just pull the partition and you could see there's plenty of space to unload the guys. Now, before we get into that, let's walk around to the side. This is a really cool feature. Of course, we do have drop down windows on both sides. So if you're forward facing or rear, there's always a drop at the horse's head. This is a double side ramp. And one of the uh, abilities that you have, I love that ramp. It just goes down nice and soft. It's very easy to maneuver. Even with the size of the ramp, it's not that difficult to pick it up and down and it doesn't just clank down onto the floor. So on these stalls, the conventional horse stall is normally 40 inches in width. I've made these particular ones. I think we're about four feet, 48 to 50 on the front and on the center, have the top doors folded around out of the way. Now, another thing to point out is this particular ramp is located on the ditch side rather than the passenger side. Most slant loads, the horse's head is facing to the driver's side and their butt's facing to the passenger side. The reason I did this is in case of an emergency, you have to pull off and access either of the three horses from the back, from this stall, or from this stall, you could do that independently and have to unload those guys on the off traffic side. So it's just a safety feature that we have incorporated uh, at no additional cost. Now, if I have three horses standing with me and I'm ready to load those guys up, let me show you how the safe tack functions in operation. And this is awesome. So I'm gonna pull both of these partitions back they easily latch to the wall so you don't have to worry about them coming back over in your way. I'll bring in my first horse through this nice wide open space. It's very open and biting. It's seven, eight in height. So it's just a lot of space here for any size horse that you may have. First guy comes in, we'll tie his or her head off uh, on these lay flat tie rings. And I have those so we never have to worry about poking or injuring an eye your horse off you will slip out this way horse's butt over to the side we're going to grab this partition so that you're always safe away from the horse we don't want you to have to worry about injury of getting kicked unfortunately close the first divider off 
So horse number two, we're going to bring him or her in. Same principle, tie them off at the uh, ties. You're going to be safely to the side away from your horse. Push the butt around if needed. Uh, so that way we don't worry about getting kicked. Of course, you could drop in the butt, padded butt chain if you like. Close off this partition. Now for your last guy, you would bring him or her in through this stall. And I have easily two points of escape for you, so it's always safe. I have a nice padded chest bar here so the horse can't get out. Tie his or her head off and you could easily step out through the full height escape door or I also have another exit point here so you easily have two points of escape so that there's no injury uh, to the uh, to the person loading go around to the side of the trailer lift up the side ramp close everything off and and away you go now to unload your horses let's step back around to this side or to the rear You would simply reverse the process. So horses now are rear facing, their heads are in here. We're gonna open the first partition. It folds around to the side automatically because it's spring loaded. Now, rather than pivoting on this end like we did before, we're gonna pivot on the opposite end. So I simply lift up the partition, swing it over to the side. We have a nice uh, place here for it to latch so it doesn't fall back in on you reach over, grab your horse's head, untie, walk him or her out the back for horse number two, <clears throat> and then of course repeat the process for horse number three as well. If you're hauling three horses, latch that partition so that it doesn't move, uh, reach up and grab your third guy and him or her exit. So the safe tack reverse really solves a lot of issues that are associated uh, not only with conventional uh, slant loads, we have the ability to customize your trailer depending on the size horse that you're hauling with lots of uh, head and neck room that's necessary, the width that's needed. We don't have any obstruction in the back or in the side for getting those horses in and out. So a hard to load horse will certainly uh, jump right up in this trailer. It's very light and open and airy. The tubular divider so the light and air can pass through. We could add some fans. There's plenty of ventilation and windows. So I just love the features that we've built into this trailer. We even did a camera system for the show. So a lot of features that you uh, choose or that you choose not to do. The safe bump roof system is included. Uh, it's very forgiving to a horse's head if a guy rears up. Uh, it is a one-piece fiber composite roof. So what that means is it's insulated. So it's very comfortable uh, during summer or winter months as well as the entire trailer is insulated. So it's quiet and comfortable. We also added in the Z-frame roof supports every 16 inches. So in a rollover situation, uh, older models, we had issues with uh, potential of a horse being ejected. The Z-frame support on 16 inch center really solved that problem for us. Now, I did add a rumber floor to this particular trailer. I love rumber. Uh, it transfers less heat, noise, and vibration back to your horse's feet and legs in comparison to an aluminum floor, which we certainly recommend against, or even a wood floor. I don't have a problem with the wood, but I like the rumber better. It's easier to clean. You just hose it right out the back. There's no lip here or anything to contend with. And of course, the uh, benefit to you as an owner, there's no stall mat. No stall mat means you don't have to drag the heavy mat out, hose the trailer, allow it to dry, pull the mat back in. So it is a lazy person's floor. That would be me when it comes to cleaning horse trailers out. I highly recommend the rumber. Let's just step up inside of the dress. I love the way this trailer has no bolts or screws or rivets. It's a nice smooth side. We use a 3M chemical bonding process, so there's no metal on metal. You can hit this trailer and, and it sounds, it's very, uh, it's not that hollow, clanky sound. It's insulated. Uh, it's watertight barriers on the seams there. So very uh, high end, a lot of technology but, uh, in the construction these days. I work with our window manufacturer to move this latch down. So it's actually a one hand operation. You could easily just uh, press the latch there. I like that. It's not gonna fall down and knock you in the head like some of the windows that I've seen. You could fold the window down and leave the bars up or you could fold the, uh, the bars and the window independent of each other, of course. 
we go ahead and put these convenient handles so if you'd like to step up on the running board, uh, dump some feed in, if you have a, a feed bag or a hay net, it's very easy to do. So that's the purpose of this handle as well as the handle on the bag. So we try to think of those things uh, for our users. Now I'm going to close this escape door off and just get it out of the way. Nice one hand latch operation. Of course you have to latch that or lock it rather if you like. If we step up into the dress, okay so uh, what we did in this particular trailer guys was uh, we, we added uh, uh, so carpet onto the bulkhead wall. I like having carpet so if we mount some bridle hangers or things like that we don't have to worry about it clanking against the wall. So we don't want the clank for the horse, it could agitate them, increase the, uh, the stress level, uh, plus it keeps the wall from getting scratched. This wall organizer panel is very uh, handy. It allows you as a user, you could purchase accessories. There's a lot of websites that offer bins and racks and hangers and they clamp right onto the grid at any position uh, on the height. So not only from the floor to the top of the trailer you can utilize this vertical wall space it just gets your stuff up out of the floor right we don't want all that stuff laying in here and you're kicking it around and you can't find it so i love that uh, optional grid panel this particular trailer i added carpet on the walls just for cosmetic uh, I did put some bridal hangers here. I didn't want the walls getting all scratched up, so there's a set of hangers here as well as there. Convenient switches on the wall uh, to operate the interior light. So you just open up the door, flip the light switch, and you don't have to worry about it. I normally mount carpet in the floor. This particular trailer, I did a stall mat in place of the carpet. I sort of like the mat better. It doesn't get soiled. You can imagine dragging mud and clay inside your, your uh, dress area. And another thing we do is we elevate the floor to eliminate the lip or the threshold at the door. And the purpose behind that, it just allows you to sweep your trailer out, keep it nice and clean. You can imagine if there's a lip here, uh, it's a safety hazard. You could trip over it with your toe as you're going in and out of the dress. This is a real pain trying to clean your trailer out. So we call that the sweep out feature. Very few companies offer that. It's just something that we do as standard for our customers at no additional cost. Lots of light in here, large windows uh, with screens. So if you wanted to lie down and take a nap, you could certainly do that. With a seven, eight tall trailer, I'm five foot 10 and I can actually sit up on top of here. Now the standard is seven, four normally. So you can imagine at four inches lower, you know, I may have to hold my head over. So keep that in mind, depending on what your needs are. If you're planning to lie down and take a nap, I would recommend at least seven six or possibly a seven eight trailer. I like the fact that the dressing room is already insulated, so it's just an expense that you don't have to incur. I just knocked my microphone off. An expense that you don't have to incur uh, moving forward. So that is standard. Of course, the walkthrough door, as we pointed out earlier, is already included as well. The water tank, uh, if you just want to carry some fresh water for your horses, um, this tank works fantastic. It's gravity feed. Just put a hose up in the top, fill it up, and to get the water back out, you could attach a small garden hose. I think it's just a garden hose. Yeah, garden hose fitting there and uh, turn the, the nozzle and just run some water out into a bucket for your horses. So you can wipe them down, uh, water for drinking, whatever the need might be. I think that's approximately a 25 gallon tank. If we walk on around to the gooseneck area. Yeah, so a couple of safety things that we've added. Uh, you can hear the show going on in the background possibly, but I like the gravel guard here. It just prevents the, the rocks from dinging your trailer up. Now, of course, when you order your trailer, we've mentioned this before on other videos, you could choose the style of your graphic, the color of your graphic, and also what I call the roof rail frame and chassis color. This one I painted black just because it's very neutral and it'll go with anything, but a lot of our customers want to customize their trailer. There's no additional cost, guys. So if you'd like a white trailer with pink graphics and a pink roof rail, I can do that for you or if you'd like to match it to the pale adobe on your tow vehicle, that's absolutely no problem. So whatever that, uh, that you have in mind, we can certainly do that. And again, it's included in the pricing 
So all of this is, uh, it's Z-frame, but we do paint that just to accent the, the trailer and make it look better. I added a battery to this particular trailer. It runs the interior fans if you're stopped or unhooked from the tow vehicle. Also operates the interior lighting when not hooked to the truck. The hydraulic jack, so normally a hand crank jack is included. This trailer does have the hydraulic on it, which is awesome in my book. Now, when you're lowering your trailer down, most couplers you have to crawl into the bed of the truck and latch. If you want to get a shot of that coupler, Brian, so what happens on this one, as it goes down, it will automatically, once, it, once your ball goes up inside of the socket, this uh, coupler will, uh, it's spring loaded. So it will, it will just pull back and as it goes down, it'll latch itself. So it's a safety feature that we've incorporated that you don't have to, oh my goodness, did I forget to latch my trailer before I left? So it's always, always going to be latched if you've rolled it down on top of the ball. And you're still going to have to climb inside the bed if you follow federal law and hook up the safety chains, which you should, or safety cables rather, and of course the emergency breakaway system. But nonetheless, we just wanted to make sure that we never have a customer drive away and not have that trailer latched properly. When you're ready to unhook uh, with this one, you would just lift the trailer as the trailer goes up, pull on the cable, and it automatically unlatches. So it's just uh, a really good feature to have that we include as standard on all of our gooseneck trailers. I like the V front which is standard as well on goosenecks and bumper pulls. It really helps with the tow or turning radius if you will on a short uh, bed pickup truck. We don't have to worry about smacking the back glass of the cab out and it's also very aerodynamic. You'd be surprised at how much difference it makes in cutting through that wind. Okay, lots of things we could talk about. This is the SafeTac Reverse. It's constructed with the Z-Frame technology. It has the Safe Kick wall system, which we didn't uh, discuss. You can learn more about that. But visit our website, guys. Go to www.doubledtrailers.com to learn more or just give us a call. Thanks so much.